to a good start. Yeah, we are. Are you filming our adventure? Yeah. Oh. I got that burp on cam. Yeah. <laughs> that was a little forced. You mean burp's a burp? Yeah, Welcome, yeah. everybody, back to another yeah, yeah, yeah. episode of It's All Me. This is the grand return of the much successful burping contest video. And now, the second guest is David Bacos. What's up? So now we are headed to Hy-Vee to see if we can't find tonight's Burpicola. Okay, so we're now in the pop aisle. I'm, I'm going with Diet Right, because this is what I wanted last time and they didn't have it, so that's what I'm getting. Dave, what are you getting? I'm gonna get Dr. Pepper. Going with the DP, yep. 23 flavors. That's right. Thank you for shopping at Hy-Vee. We got our pop, we got diet right. One of us knows how to control our appetite because mine is still unopened. Dave's is about a sixth, sixth gone. And as you know, what we do is we drink, we burp, and we talk. That's the format here, ladies and gentlemen. So before we get dived in, dived in, dove in, before we dove in, before we're dove in, in before, we're, diving in, before we're diving in, if you watch my videos, you are familiar with who this man is. This man here was part of the number one successful video on my channel for a long time. I think we're nearing 700 views on it. It was Weekend with Dave, Guys Weekend with Dave. And I will make sure that that is shown where you can click on it up. Let's see if it's in the video, it'd be up here. Uh, nope, up here. There, yeah. Right over, right over in this area. Yeah, over here is where it'll pop up and it'll say to watch it. Like right there. Hey. And check it out, because it's hilarious. And you'll get to know Dave a little bit better. Dave and I have been friends for a long time. He actually was uh, my brother's friend from college for a long time, Seth, and got to know him in 2008 when we lived in Cedar Falls when I was going to school at University of Northern Iowa. And then basically, Dave and I became better friends than him and Seth. It's so, true. suck it, Seth. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Dave and I, we both love heavy metal. Just overall, like our taste in music and our love of music basically is just the same. Oh, and we love clothes, we love shopping. Um, we're basically valley girls in that sense. That's why Dave is guest number two on Burping Contest. Let's stop wasting time and let's get to some burps. So let's dive right into the diet, right? Dave's gonna jump back in to his Dr. Pepper and let's see if we can get some rumbles going. Maybe get a knock on the door to tell us to stop burping so loud because the walls are shaking. <coughs> I feel like it takes a little bit for yeah. mine to kick in. <coughs> it's been a long time since I've had Diet Right. It kind of tastes like Diet Pepsi. Pure zero. Yeah. Pure zero? It's actually, it's the most keto friendly Diet Pop, which Diet Pop's not really even keto friendly, but it doesn't have aspartame in it, which is Oh yeah, that's awesome. Like terrible. Yeah, aspartame is terrible. So it just has sucralose, which is a very keto friendly sugar substitute. <coughs> That was good. Thanks. I don't know why I'm even gonna put the cap on. Like I'm just gonna keep diving into this thing, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Dave, what is the the earliest memory that you have of us as friends, or even of me meeting me or whatever? Probably meeting you because you thought I was a dick the first time you met me. I was working at Gap, and then his brother come in. I'm pretty sure. Are you sure it was Gap? I'm pretty sure it was American Eagle. No, it was Gap. It was? I'm pretty sure it was American Eagle. No, it was Gap. It was Gap. Okay. Yeah, okay. it was working at Gap. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was kind of a dick to Seth when he came in, but jokingly, of course. I don't know if Jesse really knew I was joking around. <laughs> he just immediately went uh, assuming I was just a dick. Douchebag. Oh, there sorry. Are di there's differences. There's a difference between being a dick and being a douchebag. So which one's worse? A dick. Being a dick is way worse. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so you didn't think I was like as bad? No, just a classic college douchebag. He really hasn't changed much. This interview is over. This is your hotel room. Where are you going to go? 
I'm just gonna start ordering things on pay-per-view and buying <laughs> stuff from down there and just say, charge it to my room. It's not gonna get charged to me. I'm gonna get you fired. I mean, I'll probably have to pay for it. Yeah, I'll get you fired. Oh, don't get me fired. So anyways, meeting you for the first time, your pop is going to be gone. No. I'm actually, at this point, more impressed with the Zevia. It like literally just turned off. Like, yeah, the camera, I think the Illuminati is part of this because it literally cut the camera off right before Dave gave the best burp of the night. Straight up, not even joking. <laughs> Was worthless. Yeah, that was not a good one. I'm still working trying to figure out how the diorite works. <coughs> oh, there They're chunky. The thing I'm noticing with Dr. Pepper is like, it takes a little while. I feel like when you do that stuff, <coughs> it's like almost instantaneous. But this stuff, yeah, like, it builds up over builds time. It builds up, and then that's just what, like, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> All right, so you're at the gap. I meet you. Not a fan at all. Like I remember leaving the store and asking Seth why he was friends with Dave. Like what a loser. And Seth's like, yeah, I know, but everybody needs a douche in their life. Is that what he really said? No, I'm paraphrasing. You're a dick. Douchebag. Thank you. So my earliest memory with Dave, but like when like our actual friendship really kind of started was I got back from the grocery store uh, shortly after we had moved to Cedar Falls and I bought chocolate soy milk and Seth and Dave were on the balcony. Gert and I stood at the bottom and you were over watching Haunted, or not Haunted Iowa, um, All Alone 2, because we filmed it just shortly before that. And you're like, hey, this is my buddy Dave. And I was like, what's up, man? And I was like, hey, by the way, I just bought chocolate soy milk. I've never tried it before and it's actually really good. And you're like, oh. <laughs> over time. And they reek, by the way. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> it's very carbonated because it makes my eyes water. It looks like you're crying. I know, it, like, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> so thus far, and I'm only a little bit through the diary, I had much higher expectations for this. So far, that Zevia is what I need to stick with. <laughs> I just, I can't, it. I can't get the length. I can't get the length out tonight. I can't get the length out tonight. That's what he said. So one of my favorite memories ever with Dave was July of 2017. We saw a handful of metal bands. It was Wolves at the Gate, mm -hmm. Icy Stars, mm -hmm. Crown the Empire, and one other one that I can't remember that opened. Yeah, they're from the Quad Cities. Amazing. <laughs> so if you like metal, I highly suggest checking out specifically Wolves at the Gate. Like, I think they're a sleeper band. I don't think they get the recognition that they deserve because their album was amazing. Mm -hmm. And their live performance was amazing. But then you have Crown the Empire and Icy Stars both came in and just rocked the roof off. It was one of the greatest shows that I've ever been to. Let's see if we can get some more burps going. Do it to it. I think the best memory. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That's some good to it. Yeah. That's I think the best it. memory, though, is when I moved back from Canada and I surprised you because you guys were at the grocery store. And yeah, we're in Fairway. Yeah. Yeah. And I had no idea the Canuck had moved back. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it they're just loud, but they're not long. I think there's so much carbonation to it. It's just like this instant like air, and then it just kills. Once the air leaves, there's like no more regurgitation. Diet right. I'm just disappointed. No blame. The guy commented on the last video and said to do RC. Oh. So I should try RC. Maybe we should try RC next time. I can see that. Yeah, he said that's one of his his top burpa colas to go to. Yeah. So, in light of that, if you have a specific pop that you drink that you go to whenever you're trying to get that good burp, leave a comment down below so we can put that on the list to try so we can get the best burps. Because right now, like I said, Zevia across the board, the healthiest choice and the healthiest burps. <laughs> Oh, there we go. They're okay, getting there. they're getting there. They're getting there. They're getting there. Yep. Maybe I'll do a little dance here. Wait. It was multi-layered. Yeah. It's like a triple-layer burp joke. <laughs> Terrible dad joke. Oh. oh. <laughs> Trying to burp. I'm just getting a kick 
puking and stuff. You're just, you're just getting all bloated and filled with air. Yeah. yeah. He's going to projectile vomit. <laughs> I thought it was good. I thought it worked really well. Uh, <laughs> with that one. <laughs> I gotta, there's a lot of air in my belly right now. Shake it up, shake it up. And now I'm just, I'm just gonna throw up. <laughs> oh wow, camera uh, going. Uh, uh, camera going. Uh, 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 <laughs> it was like pouring out a can of chunky soup there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yep. That was good. I tasted the broccoli now. So now we're getting to the bottom layers. Ah, see, that's always a good one. Yeah, we're getting to the bottom layers. <laughs> oh, kind of sound like a lion. That yeah, did. That was impressive. <laughs> I threw up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. I am overall disappointed with the diet right. And I, and I think my brother will share disappointment about that because he has always held diet right to a, a high standard for burping, which is why I decided to go with it. But overall, I'm disappointed. Um, so next time, try like RC or go back to the Zevia because I had really good results with that. Dave had been fantastic results. He had 23 flavors of burps and 23 flavors in Dr. Pepper. So nice little coincidence. So on that note, on behalf of myself and David Picasso, I'd like to thank you for joining us. If you enjoy these videos, comment down below. Let us know you want more burping contests with more guests, with more questions and more burps, and we will make that happen. If you want us to talk about something, a specific topic, whatever, doesn't oh. matter. We'll oh. talk about it. Yeah. We're, not, we're not scared. Oh. Just comment it. Yeah. And we'll do it. Yeah. I was a ghost hunter for a long, many years. 13 years, I believe. I'm a Bigfoot hunter. We can talk more music. Any topic. Shoot, we'll research topics, even if we don't own. You want us to talk about aliens? We'll pull up Google and start looking up alien facts. We'll do it. Down below, comment section. Well, first, hit that like button, and then hit that subscribe button. And then comment down below. Burpicola, what you'd like us to talk about? Uh. A specific guest that you've seen on my videos that you'd like to have. And should we go at it again and see if Zevia versus Dr. Pepper would be better results? Mm, that's an idea. Well, that's that's an idea. not a bad idea at Yeah. Comment down below who won this round. Was it me? Was it Dave? Probably. But comment down below. If you thought I won, awesome. Let me know. And we'll talk to you next time. But as always, it is all knee and no foot. Goodbye, Dave. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Bye. The camera's not, how did the camera start recording? Uh, nope, like it's randomly recording again. Hmm. What is it, why does it do that?